And that next comedian has done the duplex with me a number of times. She is very funny. Give it up for the one and only Francisca! Go! Go! Hey, Scott, thank you. Give it up for Scott. He's doing a great job. So my name is, as Scott said, Francisco. I'm transgender. I have a penis. And I like women. Even Hallmark doesn't have a card for that. You know, one of the things I like about being transgender is it makes me feel young. So I want to give you uh, an example from my life and why it makes me feel young. I'm at CVS, I'm online, the cashier's calling me, miss, miss, miss makes you feel good, right? Versus ma'am. She's calling, miss, miss, but I'm not hearing her. Guy behind me taps me on the shoulder and says, miss, they're calling you. I say to myself, oh my God, he thinks I'm a young, cute girl. The cashier thinks I'm a young girl. I'm feeling great. I go up to the counter, and when I got there, she saw all the wrinkles and everything, and she said, oh, CBS card, ma'am. Oh, it burst my bubble. I accidentally went into my male voice, and I said, here you go. She said, oh, thanks, sir. Oh, I, and I felt so terrible, so I'm leaving CVS, and I'm kind of down, and then I thought, well, wait a minute. The computer knew I was a girl, because I looked at the receipt, and it said $2 off tampons. So not only did it think I was a girl, but young enough to have a menstrual cycle. <laughs> so I was vindicated. <laughs> you know, I like being Italian, too. We have a few Italians in here, I, I thought I heard before. Right? Yeah? And uh, I like Italian food too. There's a dish called brajol. Have you ever heard of it? It's rolled meat. And uh, no matter how much I transition from male to female, I ain't giving up my brajol. I'm keeping this. It's going to come in handy someday. Or come in hand or something like that. And I know about Italian people is that the key way, like I'm probably, I'm probably not turning you guys on, right? Maybe, maybe a little bit, no, maybe. Turn me on. Well, with, with Italian guys, when I do like an Italian anniversary party or something, they're the real true test of if I could pass as a female. The real true test is if I can make them hard. But the best I've gotten so far is al dente. <laughs> you know, Italian people are funny. Sometimes the real Italian types, you know, down on Arthur Avenue in a deli, you ever run into, they don't speak of the English you're too good, you know, those type. So anyway, about this government shutdown and all this talk about a default, they had the answer. I was in a deli and I heard this girl saying to this guy, oh, you don't know what what you're talking about at all. You don't, you just don't know. It's not the fault of the bonds. The bonds can't be at fault. It's the fault of the people. <laughs> so I felt like saying to her, hey, listen, you're talking about the fault, not the fault. The fault. So being a Italian, from an Italian-American family, uh, and them expecting me to be a real guy's guy, being transgender is a little bit difficult, but they're getting used to it. In fact, my mother, who has a little bit of dementia, is now accustomed to it, because I've been living two and a half years now as a female, full-time. How am I doing, all right? Yeah. Am I doing all right? Yeah. Yeah. Legs all right? Yeah. So, I'm feeling all right. So my mom says to me the other day, I go over and see her, and she says, you know, you look pretty good. So I said to her, yeah, I'm really feeling great. She says, you even have a glow. I said, mom, you think I'm pregnant? She said, you are? I said, mom, I can't be pregnant. She says, oh, that's right, you're too old. <laughs> yeah, uh, now that it's uh, 
colder, this probably won't happen. But it was happening a couple of times in the summertime, especially when I was at Jones Beach. I bent over, I was in the water, and the water was only up to here, and I bent over, and one of my silicone inserts, you know, a chicken cutlet, falls out and falls in the water. So I'm trying to get it, I'm going like this, the water's cloudy, I can't see it. I give up, I'm going back to my blanket, and just then I hear a little kid yell out, Mommy, Mommy, jellyfish! I say, get it, get it, $45! <laughs> You know, these, these things happen when you're transitioning. Transitioning, I was thinking, I was trying to think of a good analogy, and this is somewhat the best, that because it's clumsy. You know, I'm trying to be feminine, uh, but yet I'm not really all there yet and stuff. So I was, I was thinking I'm more like a sheep that wanders over to a herd of cows, right? And I'm... I go over to the cows, and when I get over to the cows, they really know that I'm not a cow. And then I'm pretending that I'm a cow, and I go, the best I can get is, boo, boo. The cow says to me, what the hell are you saying? Boo. You mean moo. And I said, yeah, I'm trying moo, but the ba, the ba from the sheep is mixing with the moo and it's coming out boo. So she says to me, you know what? You should just put a sheet over your head and go as a ghost. And you'll be better off. But you know, one thing that's really pretty cool now is Pope Francis, by the way, he took that name from me. Because I was using Francis first. And I think he found out that there's this popular transgender comic in New York whose real baptismal name is Francis. So he figured, let me adopt it. I'll win over, you know, however many millions at least, if not tens of millions, of gay people. So now he's getting really friendly with gay people. You notice that? Who has noticed that in the press? About, and isn't it a good thing? Right? It's a good thing that he's doing that, right? So Pope Francis is doing this, right? But I think they're going almost a little too far too fast. Because I'm Roman Catholic, I like the idea that I walk into a church and I see the Blessed Virgin Mary statue. I don't know if I'm ready to see next to the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, Mary statue a statue of Judy Garland. You know, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go into the confessional and for the priest to say, after I tell my sins, say, oh, you, you should say three Our, Our Fathers, three Hail Marys, and sing along with me. 525,600 minutes. You know, I don't know if I'm really ready for all that yet. But, uh, but I guess it's better to try it than not try it. Um, there are three genders. You at this table, no one here is transgender, right? <laughs> you're, 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 none of you are? Um, there are three. Anyone else Me. in the audience? Me. I saw, you're transgender? Yeah, I'm transgender. Uh, th there are three genders. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and transgender women are, like me are from the meatpacking district. <laughs> I'll, leave you with, I'll leave you with this uh, uh, joke. I'm in Marshalls looking for shoes. You know, they have a great selection of shoes. And the, the girl, one of the sales girls came over to me and she saw I had these wide feet and she made me as transgender. And I got a little embarrassed. This was about a year ago. And um, I really, I don't get that embarrassed anymore, but I was embarrassed visibly and I was red. So she said to me, and she felt bad, you know, she says, oh, don't be embarrassed, it's okay. I said, I, I know, it's all right, but I'm embarrassed. She said, don't be embarrassed. Here at Marshall's, everything is irregular. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I'm Francis Joe, bye. Give it up. Come on guys, you guys have been great. Let's hear it. Keep it going.